Hey, it's Nash from Astronomy. This is the second video in the Solar Eclipse series. And in today's video, we're going to talk about line solar eclipse glasses. Solar eclipse glasses. How did I forget that? In the previous video, I briefly mentioned solar eclipse glasses and their safety standards. In this video, I will review four eclipse glasses from manufacturers recommended by the American Astronomical Society on AAS.org. I bought these glasses and I tested them by taking an image with them uh, with my camera, as well as my observational experience that I will share with you. First thing is first, never ever look at the sun without proper protection. It's not worth damaging your eyes. Let's talk a little bit about solar eclipse glasses safety. The first thing you should know is the international safety standard for solar eclipse glasses. It is ISO 12312-2 colon 2015. This has the guidance that all manufacturers need to follow in order to make sure that the solar eclipse glasses that we get are safe. This was last reviewed in 2020 and it is current as of 2023. Some solar eclipse glasses may have the old CE standard. I believe this is from the early 90s. And if you have glasses that just has the CE standard, I wouldn't recommend using them and getting a brand new ISO one. You should always buy solar eclipse glasses from reputable and known sources. You can find a list of approved sellers and manufacturers on AES.org from the American Astronomical Society. You should always be aware of scammers and counterfeiters. Unfortunately, in today's world, people will just stamp on the ISO number and it doesn't mean anything because they're not doing any kind of testing. They're just counterfeiting these solar eclipse glasses and it can put your eyes at risk. So always buy from reputable and known sources. And never ever use these glasses if the glasses are damaged. If there are holes in them, if it looks like light is leaking through, throw them away. If your eyes start to feel strained after a short observing period, it may be that the glasses are defective because it could be letting in UV and IR light when it should not. So if that starts to happen, throw those away. If you can see sunlight reflecting off anything other than the sun itself, reflections of the sun, for example, on a car windshield, you should not use them. That means they're not protecting, they're not blocking enough light for to protect your eyes. Okay, now let's talk about how I tested these glasses. Uh, the first way I tested is to take an image through them with my 75 to 300 millimeter stock lens. This may look familiar to a lot of people and this is one of the cameras, one of the lenses I used during the 2017 eclipse. And the way I attach the eclipse glasses to the lens is using this little device that I created. So this is a coffee cup sleeve. Uh, it's a little cone shaped, so it actually it fits on over the lens really well, but it doesn't go all the way through just because of the narrower opening on the top. Um, I cut some construction paper here so that I'm blocking everything but the uh, little slit here for uh, the glasses itself. I have rubber bands on the side, so what I do is I pop it on the rubber band and I need to just test one side. And once I'm done with this, this is what it looks like from the sides. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's a little flappy as long as when I'm imaging it, it doesn't, I'm able to just see the sun. You can see there's actually no breaks here and from the inside, it actually looks pretty, pretty good. And this experiment worked better than I thought. The four eclipse glasses that I'll be reviewing are from Thousand Oaks Optical, Rainbow Symphony, Lund Solar Systems, and American Paper Optics. There are other manufacturers on the list, but I wanted to pick just a handful due to time limitations, budget limitations, and just to show that I can just pick four uh, from the list on AES.org and that they are all good recommendations. Okay, let's start with the first one, Thousand Oaks Optical. They've been around for a long time, and in fact, these exact glasses are the ones I used in the 2017 Eclipse. I still have them, I still have a couple more that I had as backup, and these are really well made. Of course, a lot can change uh, in a few years, so I've actually ordered a bunch of these, a bulk of 50 from one of their resellers on Amazon. I reached out to Thousand Oaks Optical to make sure that they were actual uh, resellers, authorized resellers, and they confirmed that they were. So I'll link to that in the description below as well, so you can buy from them or from Thousand Oaks Optical directly. And I can confirm that the new batch of glasses that I got, uh, manufactured by Thousand Oaks Optical, is still very excellent. So these glasses come with a silver black polymer film, a silver reflective on the, in the front, and in the back is just black polymer. And overall, these look comfortable, these feel comfortable, and they work really well. The sun looks great through them. I attached this to my 300 millimeter lens and took this shot of the sun. The sun was focused and you can actually see some sunspots in the center and in the edges. This will be very hard to see with just your eyes. So being able to spot sunspots through eclipse glasses isn't something I would consider an important factor. When I observed visually, the glasses are comfortable. I was able to look at the sun for a few minutes without my eyes straining. And the sun looked like a natural yellow-orange color. 
You can also see the kind of yellowish glow around the sun, and this is, was visually observable. Overall, the glasses are great. These cost me a dollar a piece when I bought the pack of 50. It's still the same price on Amazon and on Thousand Oaks Optical site. You can get a pack of 25 for $35, which comes out to about $1.40 per pair, or you can go up to 10,000, which will cost you 45 cents each. Next up is Rainbow Symphony. These glasses feel and look a little similar to Thousand Oaks Optical. They have the silver black polymer lenses as well, silver in the front, black in the back. And the sun looks similar with a familiar orange yellow tint. When I attached this to my 300 millimeter lens and I took a shot of the sun, this is what I saw. Some sunspots are also visible, and you'll, you'll notice that the quality is just about the same as Thousand Oaks Optical. This also has a glow around the sun. In the image, it looks more prominent, but visually, you can't tell the difference. I think the difference could be how my camera and my lens actually took the shot, so that shouldn't be taken into effect into how different it looks. I can tell you visually, it looked exactly the same. And you can buy this directly from Rainbow Symphony's website. A pack of five will cost you about $1.49 each, while a pack of a thousand will cost you 45 cents each. They also do custom glasses, and I wish I had the budget for that. Third on the list is Lunt Solar Systems. Uh, disclaimer is that the link in the description is actually an affiliate link to Lunt. Uh, you don't have to use it, but I would appreciate it if you do. These glasses have just a black black polymer, not a black silver polymer. So you can see in the front, it's not reflective. So it's just a black polymer and also in the back. That's definitely not something to worry about. These glasses still meet the safety standards and they work really well. When I took an image with my lens, this is what I saw. Same sunspots were visible, the familiar yellow and orange tint. But if you notice, there's actually very little glow around the sun. I used the same focal lens, same exposure and ISO settings, and there's no glow. Visually, I did see a glow, but it was very faint. So some people may like the glow, some people may not. If you don't like it, maybe Lunt is good for you, but if you want the glow, uh, maybe one of the other ones will be good for you. These glasses were also very comfortable to wear, and I did not feel any kind of eye strain uh, while looking at the sun over a few minutes. Overall, these are great glasses. You can buy these directly from the Lunt website uh, with a minimum quantity of five for $10.25, which comes out to about $2 a pair. Uh, so these are some of the more expensive glasses, all the way up to two and a half million, at which point it becomes the cheapest glasses at 25 cents per unit. That's ridiculous. So if you do want to order two and a half million, so I would really appreciate it if you'd use that affiliate link. Last up on the list is by American Paper Optics. They own EclipseGlasses.com, and I think it's one of the smartest purchases they, that they could have made. These also have a silver black polymer, just like the Thousand Oaks Optics and Rainbow Symphony. Silver in the front, black in the back. And this is the shot I saw of the sun through my camera. Once again, some of the sunspots are visible, and the sun has a familiar yellow and orange tint. It also has that glow again that the lunch did not. So I do think that the silver polymer of the lens is what gives it more of a glow. In the image, the glow is, looks pretty prominent, but I think that's just how my camera captured it, because the glow was the same as the Thousand Oaks Optical and Rainbow Symphony glasses visually. Just like the others, these glasses were comfortable to wear and my eyes did not feel strained after looking at the sun for a few minutes. Overall, these are also great glasses. You can buy these directly from American Paper Optics for a dollar a piece if you get 25 or 45 cents each if you go to 2500. All of these glasses have two points where you can bend to fit your face. The wider part is great if you wear glasses. I found that this the I found that these fit perfectly over my glasses. So here's just a summary of my findings of the four solar eclipse glasses. A lot of this information is the same. I highlighted some of the differences in bold and underline here. For example, the three of the four glasses up here have silver black polymer, whereas the Lund Solar Systems has black black polymer. And that reason is actually why it also has much less noticeable glow. I am, it is kind of a guess, but after doing a couple of experiments with these glasses, the type of polymer in the lens does match with why there is glow and why there isn't glow. Again, this doesn't affect anything visually, it's still safe, and they all work really well. All of them have yellow and orange tint, you know, some glow, and they're all very comfortable. I didn't have any kind of issues looking at the sun for several minutes. I also noted the prices at the bottom here, and I have highlighted two prices here. So the first one is American Paper Optics here, where it says 25 for $25. This is the lowest quantity that you can get for the lowest price at this price range is one dollar per pair of glasses if you're ordering a huge bulk of glasses then i think rainbow symphony has the best deal where you order a thousand and each glasses is will cost you 45 cents each so about 450 dollars i know Lund solar system has it for 
25 cents each but that's if you order two and a half million and the reason i didn't highlight it is because that number is a ridiculous number here's one final look at the four images that i captured through all four solar eclipse glasses and I think this highlights some of the glow that you can see around the suns here and I mentioned earlier that the higher glow around Rainbow Symphony and American Paper Optics are just how my camera captured these visually speaking this did not look any different between Thousand Oaks Optical, Rainbow Symphony and American Paper Optics there was a glow I can see it but they all looked the same to me and you can see that Lund Solar Systems actually you can't you can barely see a glow uh, I know it's probably going to translate worse uh, on video but in, on my monitor here at full brightness I can see a little bit visually speaking I was able to see a little bit but you can clearly see that it's far less so you can use this as kind of a guide to like which one you may like and as I mentioned earlier there are a lot of other brands that you can purchase just wanted to show you these four as examples and here's just a bigger look at the four suns we talked a lot about solar eclipse glasses, but I want to make sure that you don't forget to enjoy the totality of the solar eclipse. You won't be able to see totality with your solar eclipse glasses on. So once the sun is hidden fully behind the moon, you can take it off, enjoy the sun's corona. You can see prominences if they're, if they're visible at the time and just enjoy it. But do make sure that you put your glasses back on before you start to see the diamond ring or Bailey's beads because uh, as I mentioned in the last video, as you've been looking at the darkness of uh, total solar eclipse your pupils dilate and once the diamond ring comes back around once the sun starts to reappear more light goes into your eye and it can damage your eyes uh, much faster than than if you were looking at the sun on a normal day where your eyes have adjusted and your pupils are tiny another thing i'll mention is that in the video i covered uh, some of the sunspots that we were able to see they were small and dim and i used just single images and i did not do any kind of processing so they were a little hard to see but again these were taken using a solar eclipse using solar eclipse glasses so sunspots are not something that you should expect to see with glasses with that said in the next video i plan on creating a little hat for my 60 millimeter refractor it'll look a little something like this uh, looks kind of like a graduation cap this is what i use for my sct so i put it on top and i can zoom really close into the uh, sun and see the details of the sunspots and the last thing i'll mention is something that i've already mentioned is to be careful when you buy solar eclipse glasses make sure you get them from a known source and a reputable source look on aes.org for the latest list if you see a deal on ebay or something that looks too good to be true it probably is don't buy it even if it says iso standard because there's a possibility that they're lying and they're not actually iso standard and you could end up damaging your eyes it's definitely not worth it i'm really excited for the total eclipse next year I'm also hoping to catch the partial eclipse of the annular eclipse that's happening in October. So I'm planning on creating a few more videos over uh, solar viewing and solar eclipses and uh, related topics. So I want to thank you for spending the time with me. I hope this was a little bit helpful. If there's any questions that you have that I have not answered, please ask in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, clear skies. Solar eclipse glasses. How did I forget that?